holiday, first the best. on the scene, the update is Gabe Garcia, alert, awake, and crawling out of that car. My goodness. Yeah! That's incredible. The damage to that race car. Scary. Helmet is off Gabe. He's talking to people, crew members now, family members.
and uh, get ready to meet your team. That's it. Ryan Burnell, everyone, fourth place in that heat race. Thanks for that, Hollister, now living in Rockland. Back up to you, boy. Sorry, race fans, we're down to the fourth and final heat race here tonight. It'll be last top five for Vaughn, top two for Jack. Uh, C Main 1 is posted on the board. C Main 1 is posted on the board, and my race pass.
heads up at the staging. Be made, please.
on his uh, side. Jim Richardson. For the 30th time, but nighttime in tribute to Stephen Allard, the stars and cars will go four wide for you great race fans that are with us here tonight at Silver Dollar Speedway and watching. We had 62 cars enter tonight. We're down to the final 24, of course, as they come by. Make some noise. Let them know how much you appreciate them. The stars and cars on parade tonight here at Silver Dollar Speedway off of turn number four in tribute to Stephen Allard. Fashion. Field is aligned. The lights are out. The stars are shining bright tonight. Silver Dollar Speedway after 40 laps. Someone's going to be a hero in tribute to Stephen Allard. We're green. Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks comes back to his inside off turn number two here. here comes Sanders with the crossover move. They'll go side by side into turn three. Oh, what an opening lap battle. for the lead, give the lead out of turn number four to Landon Brooks, followed by Sanders, Macedo, Bloomfield, and Golubic, the top five. And we saw Dylan Bloomfield working that bottom side to perfection in the dash. He made a couple of moves. There were a couple of passes on the opening lap. However, he now has Shane Golubic trying to come after him down the front straightaway. We get to lap number two. That Two laps down. Trouble for your leader. Brooks is sideways. That gives the lead now to Justin Sanders. Macedo rolls into the second spot. Bloomfield now mixing it up again with Brooks. Three laps down. We got a car over the edge. In three and four. A couple cars. Looks like they'll continue on. We stay clean and green. Caleb Montgomery and Crawley, the two cars that were off the edge of the racetrack. Lap number four that time by. Four laps down. Sanders up front. He's wheeling and dealing, race fans. He's a 
about a lap away, though, from closing in on slower cars. Now Shane Golovic drives back around Dylan Bloomfield for a position. Here comes your Placer Gold Speedway track champion, Michael Vicino, trying to close up on him as well. Five laps down quickly. Five down. This time by six laps complete. It's still Sanders up front, your leader, followed by Macedo, who's all over him. You've got Brooks, Golovic, and now Facetto to the inside of last night's winner, Bloomfield. No battle for that fifth spot into turn three. Cole Macedo all over Justin Sanders. He'll take a shot now, low into one and two. Here comes the Tarleton and Sun 21 team. Justin Sanders had to pump the brakes quickly to avoid the 7C car. That allowed Macedo to get a run on turn four, but Macedo kind of biked off the turn four exit. They stay nose to tail through turns one and two. Look, Brandon Brooks starting to make his move again. Yeah, I was just going to say, Landon Brooks has got his composure back, running in third, trying to track down his car. Macedo bikes it. He's upside down. Oh, that's a tough one. Into the catch fence in turn four. We got to go red. And also backing into that area was the 5H of Hamas. We will advise to try to stay away from that area on the fence. Please stay away. Let the safety crew do their job. Cole Macedo was going for it. He was in that second spot. Red flag situation here on a lap number eight. And uh, we have just got word. Driver is just fine. Cole Macedo. Gives a thumbs up after a wicked ride off of turn number four. That top side, part scoreboard. Field bunches up. Anticipation of the restart off of turn four. We're back at it. Justin Sanders will lead him into turn one. Shane Golovic taking a look to the inside of Landon Brooks for second. Brooks drives back around him. He'll maintain P2, and we have Chance Grasty over the edge to draw the yellow. Over the edge, and the yellow is out. No lap, we'll stay on uh, lap number eight and we'll go single file now, coming out of the double file restart. Okay, field is set, lights are out again. Second attempt to get off a of lap number eight, this time by, we're green. upside down big time red down holy toledo that was big time sean becker took a nasty two tumbles at least in the air it that turn one got him rocking and rolling we'll make sure safety crew gets there and checks on sean becker but You can even still see and hear the people in the grandstands talking about how high and how many rollovers he did in the air, at least two that we saw. They're gonna gingerly get the car back on all four. And how about that? He's crawling out of the top of the race car. The Shark, our seven-time track champion. <laughs> Taking off the helmet, catching his breath. Shirts, man. They are great. Yeah, he's got great. There's a guy with some big-time moxie, Robert Blue. Miss him in a wing sprint car, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. Lights are out. Lap eight restart. Field ready to roll again. And we're green, off of turn four. Sanders leads him into turn one. They'll go to the high scary side once again. Vicento though on the bottom might get around Golubic. They'll slice and dice for that third spot into turn three. Into turn three, the battle is on. Here comes Torgus, and now the challenge to the inside of Dylan Bloomfield. He'll make that pass down the front straightaway. Torgus it up the P5. Yeah, he's on the move in the snowmobile. The seven car around the 83V, nice move by him. Back up front, Sanders still holding off. Landon Brooks, it's Vicento, Golubic, Torgerson. You've got Bloomfield and now Vasquez in the 83SA getting racing. Andy Forsberg working that bottom side to perfection, looking to get to the inside of 38. Colby Johnson battling 
there for the A spot. Andy Forsberg kind of catfishing around the bottom, going where they are not. Torgerson will get around Golubic, though, off the of turn two. He's moved up now to P4. Yeah, good stuff for the Glendale, Arizona racers. We go yellow for a car off one and two. Car into the K rail and a turn one and two, facing the wrong way. I think it's Nick Parker. 115 to Nick Parker. Sanders sets a pace again. Field bunches up off of turn four. We're green. Brooks now to the bottom. Battle for the lead off of turn two. Squeeze play. And Sanders will take the lead. Now well, we got a top and a bottom right now in this serve in this surface behind them. Shane Gollum and Ashton Torgerson and Michael Pacinto just ahead of them trying to track down Landon Brooks. Field uh, rolling through turns one and two right now. Top six or seven nose to tail as we see that Golubic look to the inside of Pacinto, but seventh on back. It's a gaggle of race cars, top and bottom. 13 laps down, six tenths of a second is the lead for Justin Sanders. Back to your runner-up, Landon Brooks. Facinto, Golub again, Torgus in your top five. Behind him, Bloomfield, Forsberg, Ryan Bernal making some moves right now. Looks to the inside of Colby Johnson. Vasquez, Caden Steele. Round out your top ten. And Bernal started 16th in this one. He is up into the ninth spot, it looks like, trying to go after eighth place, Colby Johnson. Ah, uh, great battle into turn number one. There were three cars going for it. Bernal, Johnson, Vasquez. There's Caden Steele also in the mix. So, yeah, 16th up to eighth right now for Ryan Bernal with 16 laps down and 24 to go. Landon Brooks is slowly but surely tracking down your leader. About a lap and a half until maybe your leaders catch the slower traffic on lap 17. 17 laps down. Boy, Brooks is just shadowing your leader, Sanders. Well, we talked about some of these young kids heading back east. Landon Brooks certainly going to be one of the next as he tries to do something with Justin Sanders here with 18 laps down. About a three car lane gap between the top two. It might be closer as they go through turns three and four. We come up at turn four, lap 19 completed. Well, that time Justin Sanders goes down low. Landon Brooks has a run on your leader into turn three. Here it comes, Troy. Battle for the lead through three and four. Brooks on the bottom, unable to squeeze by. Your leader is still Sanders, but look at Golubic right behind him. He put the squeeze on Facento. They'll race back and forth for that third spot. Man, tremendous battle there with Golubic. Here comes Torgus and now Slip.
this spot back, but Golubic says no soup for you. I want the second spot. Those three having a battle, but up front, Sanders extend his lead. It is about a half straightaway lead now by Sanders. Man, how impressive is Ashton Torgerson in the Clayton Snow on number seven up into third. Those three drivers all rail the high line. Great move by Torgerson to get to the third spot. Brooks falls to fourth. Vicento, Bernal, and Forsberg round out your top seven. 28 laps down, 1.3 seconds was the lead last time by for Sanders. However, Shane Golovic is coming. Boy, Shane Golovic is closing. He's been the best driver at Chico the last two years. He'd love nothing more to finalize here this year with another win. He'll close to within a car link down the back stretch. And battle for the lead up coming into three and four. Golovic goes upstairs. Sanders drifts up. Golovic now cuts his way on the inside. A little bit of contact maybe between those two. Shane Golubic takes oh, the lead, but we'll go yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And it was for your third place car at the time, oh, Torgerson. Didn't see that. Teeth. Gary, that's pretty great. That's pretty good. So with 10 laps to go, single file restarts. We're back at it. This time by race fans. Shane Golubic looking for his third Fall Nationals win. We're green. Through one and two, Landon Brooks has a run on Justin Sanders. And we have Andy Forsberg over the edge to draw the yellow. Well, like his uh, buddy Sean Becker, that turn one entrance took a bite out of the 92 car. And Forsberg had worked. All right, lights are out. We're back at it again. Shane Golubic, Sanders, Brooks, Vicento, Bernal. We're green. Well, Caleb Henry to the forward. inside. Sorry about that, GT. Yeah. Yeah, Caleb Henry got to the inside of Ryan Burnell. Burnell tries to battle his way back down, but right now the top side becoming dominant once again. 31 laps down, nine to go. Golubic now motoring away. My goodness, once he got to the top spot, he packed his bags and said, see you later. Eight to go. Now what a season, four wins out of the five 360 racers going into this weekend, and Shane Golubic absolutely marching away from the field. Sanders second, Brooks is third, Vicento and now Caleb Henry inside the top five. Seven laps to go. Well, at the line, already a 1.6 second lead for Golovic. Back to second place, Sanders, Landon, Brooks, Vicento, Henry, and Burnell. Six to go. Most of the drivers back on the high scary side. Well, Sanders, if he can close in, will benefit from some slower cars coming up. Vasquez off the edge of the racetrack in front of your leader. That'll help Golubic a little bit. Two second lead as he enters into lap traffic. Now slides across the groove and turn four lap car across me right there in front of him. That was close. Four laps remain. Golubic the leader, but Sanders will close in. Golubic struggled to get around the one a little bit. This time by though, 37 laps down, three to go. Golubic, Justin Sanders, now one second apart, so Sanders has closed the gap, however, gets across the groove there in turn number two. Clear track ahead now for Sanders in his pursuit of Golubic. 38 laps down, two to go. Golubic up front, he's going to have to make a mistake to allow Sanders to close in. White flag this time by. Sanders did close the gap just a little bit. The final charge by Sanders within two car lengths. Golovic 
gets stuck behind John Clark. He goes to the bottom. Makes contact with... Clark off the turn for the checker to win. Shane Golovic, a three-time champion of the Fall Nationals. Second will go to Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks, Caleb Henry, and Michael Facento. Things change quickly on that final lap as Golovic got sidetracked by the slower car made the move to get around that car and he won the third time for the Fall Nationals. He brought back the perpetual trophy and he'll get to take it back home with him. Your unofficial uh, results, it'll be Shane Golubic followed by Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks is third, Caleb Henry up to fourth, Michael Vicento, 5th, Ryan Bernal, 6th, Tony Gomes, 7th, Colby Johnson, 8th, Caden Steele, ninth, and Willie Croft up to the top 10 finish. Croft started 23rd. Good job by Croft, 23rd to 10th. Well, Shane Golovic started off the year with the win. He'll finalize the year with the win. That is his 16th career win here at Silver Dollar Speedway. His third Fall Nationals win. The 2022 track champion gets it done here at Silver Dollar Speedway tonight. We'll allow him to gather his thoughts and get him out of the race car. Gary Thomas on scene. Race fans are welcome to the pit area after the races are over. If you want to go meet some drivers, get some autographs. Thank you. Well, he's out of the car. GT will send it down to you, Gary Thomas. Oh, Troy, he's going to go atop the car. Now a three-time Fall Nationals winner in tribute to Stephen Aller. What a race here tonight for 40 laps. We'll get Shane around front and center. Get good line of sight for the flow guys. Well, Shane Golubic, good kiss here for wife Sarah. Talk to us about your season. Your five wins, none bigger though here. Your third career Fall Nationals. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Uh, winning the Fall Nationals is uh, something that's like really means a lot to me and to be able to do it three times is super cool um, really cool to uh, do it you know in honor of Stephen Allard uh, him and his brother Jonathan were huge in my uh, progress uh, up through the race uh, racing ranks and um, they weren't afraid to come up to me and tell me what I was doing wrong or what uh, what they were bothered by and I, I thought that was really cool and I, I was able to learn from both of them um, a ton and so um, I try to emulate that a little bit nowadays. I'm starting to be kind of the older guy, and those guys meant uh, the world to me, so um, try to keep that tradition going. But um, yeah, my Nasser drink, uh, Matt Wood Racing, uh, Southern Pacific Farms MV Drywall car was uh, a handful early. Uh, I was kind of MF and my brother a little bit, uh, thinking we weren't going to be very good, and uh, the thing just came alive there uh, halfway through the race, and the harder I ran it, the better it felt. So um, really happy to be able to park in Victory Lane. Um, means a lot. and. Uh, yeah, I just can't thank these guys enough. Well, last night you were kind of joking about the track wasn't up your alley, but tonight this thing looked like it was right up your alley. Talk to us about that excellent battle with Justin and uh, Ashton Torgus. I mean, that was that was pretty darn good stuff. Yeah, for sure. It, it's still almost like the first half of the race really wasn't up my alley either. It was really uh, kind of choppy, and, and my car was just too tight, and I was bouncing around a lot and um, just kind of thought I was in trouble. But then the, the track came to us a little bit, and uh, I just decided to kind of get up in the seat a little bit uh, a little bit more and get going and got a good rhythm going and was able to catch Justin just at the right time and kind of got lucky the, the way that – um, yellow kind of fell because I know it was going to be really difficult to actually complete a pass on Justin. Um, 
with with the way the track was. It, it took me so long to get by Landon. Um, I knew it was going to be even harder to get by Justin just because he's such a good racer and um, he's always going to have something to come back uh, with. So um, caught a break there, but we'll take it. Well, got to be some nice momentum here in a couple of weeks. You're going to try and match old BK for the most trophy cups. So I know you got your eyes on that uh, twenty nine thousand dollars as well. Yeah, that's huge. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, I think I tied uh, Shark and Andy, my two heroes, on, on Fall Nationals wins. I think they both have three from what I've heard, so that's pretty cool. Uh, those guys are uh, people I look up to. But, yeah, looking really looking forward to Trophy Cup. That's our next race, so I'm um, excited about that. And, uh, yeah, take a week off and, and get back and get ready for Trophy Cup. All right, race fans, now a three-time winner of the Fall Nationals. It is Shane Golubek and the Matt Wood Racing Team. We'll let them get the victory lane photos. Well, we'll get on over here to our runner-up finisher, Justin Sanders. And, Justin, you won a lot of money races here. I know you wanted to add a Fall Nationals, but uh, talk to us about that great battle with you and Shane. Yeah, there's a uh, three-second place for Fall Nationals now. Uh, no, I mean, I just, uh, I was out front leading. I didn't know how, to pu how hard to push, and I really didn't want to blow it off the edge. I was getting real tight in the middle of the race. And just, uh, I kind of seen the track cleaning off, seen some rubber coming, and I was trying to not give that part of the racetrack up, but also keep my speed. And I just, I don't know, I just kind of got caught moving around and, just uh, just really didn't make the right decisions. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, not really much to say. Uh, Got to go back and look at a couple things and check out some rules and check out some start rules and just look at a couple things. Uh, you know, uh, that's all I can say. You know, second place, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he got me at the line. And I just tried to get him back and just push as hard as I could. That's all I had. Well, you got to be looking forward to the high limit race as well, Putnamville. That, that's a Justin Sanders track. Uh, yeah, I uh, ran second there last year, too, so uh, my second place race this year. Uh, uh, we'd like to get a couple more wins. I mean, I got to uh, uh, something uh, not got complain, I got a big win. Yeah. And uh, got a lot of cool runner up finish this year. Uh, you know, congrats to Shane, uh, pushing harder than I did when I needed to be pushing harder. So uh, that's all I can say about that. And, uh, all right, that's Justin Sanders, tonight's runner-up finisher at Fall Nationals. We'll get Landon Brooks out here front and center. Well, Landon leading the race early on, then he kind of had a little bit of a, a little excursion there on the back straightaway. But, uh, you know, I know you want to get that win, that $5,000, but it's been a great season, and you're on the podium here at the Fall Nationals. That's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, you know, I just uh, almost went upside down there, I think. Um, you know, if I didn't do that, I could have controlled the race a little bit better and, um, you know, maybe came out on top. But... Um, you know, it was fun racing with his them guys. I felt like, you know, Steven gave me uh, the car just as good as him. And, um, you know, we kind of got sliding there, and I kind of got, you know, stuck in the wrong spot. The and fell back to four. And then the rear end was first, uh, and then we was front, no, front, no. And it was crazy how, yeah. we, like, and got away. Yeah. I think, you know, last night, we fell back to 22nd. Yeah. And yeah. Drove back to yeah. seven. Yeah. So, we <laughs> <laughs> get in a great race car every night. Yeah. Oh, jeez, yeah. Outstanding season. I'm sure we'll see you at the Trophy Cup here in two weeks. Yep, yep, we'll be there. That's Landon Brooks, everyone, tonight's third place finisher. That'll wrap it up down trackside. What a two nights of racing, Troy Henning. That was good stuff. We'll let you close out another year.